The observed stereospecificity for hydroboration oxidation is consistent with the first step of the proposed mechanism, in which H and BH2 are simultaneously added across the pi bond of the alkene. The concerted nature of this step requires that both groups add across the same face of the alkene, giving a syn addition. In this way, the proposed mechanism explains not only the regiochemistry, but also the stereochemistry. When drawing the products of hydroboration oxidation, it is essential to consider the number of chirality centers, which are created during the process of addition. If no chirality centers are formed, just like in this product, then, regardless of the way BH3 is added to alkene, that is, from top or bottom face, only one product is formed, rather than a pair of enantiomers. Therefore in this case syn addition does take place from two faces equally, but its outcome is same. Thus stereospecificity of such a reaction is not relevant. Now, consider the stereochemical outcome, in a case, where one chirality center is formed in the product. For example in this case, one chiral carbon is generated, as highlighted in blue. In such a case, both enantiomers are obtained, because, syn addition can take place from either face of the alkene with equal likelihood. It may approach from top side, to form this product, in which both H and OH are situated on top face, or from the bottom side, to form this product in which both H and OH are on bottom side. These products are enantiomeric to each other. Now, consider a case in which two chirality centers are formed. For example, in this addition, two chiral centers are generated, as highlighted in blue. Two chiral centers means that compound can exist in four stereoisomers. In such a case, the requirement for syn addition determines which pair of enantiomers is obtained. Since hydroboration oxidation is a syn addition, therefore only those enantiomers will be formed, in which H and OH are syn to each other. Thus, only two enantiomers are formed. That is, H and OH can be added from down the plane, so that, methyl group and H, already attached to alkene double bond, are pushed above the plane. Or they can be added from above the plane, so that, methyl and H are pushed down the plane. The other two enantiomers, in which H and OH are anti to each other cannot be formed in this reaction. Because the reaction mechanism demands an addition of H and BH2, and oxidation doesn't change the stereochemistry of OH via replacing BH2. Thus, only two of the four possible stereoisomers are formed, the reaction is said to be stereospecific. The other two stereoisomers, which would result from adding H and OH to opposite sides of the pi bond, are not formed. Let us work out another hydroboration oxidation reaction. Consider the hydroboration of 1-methylcyclohexene. The first step of hydroboration is syn addition of H and BH2, which can occur either from top side of carbon-carbon double bond, so that H and methyl are pushed down. Or the syn addition may occur from bottom side, so that H and methyl are pushed above. The result is formation of enantiomeric alkylboranes. The second step is oxidation, in which OH replaces BH2 group with retention of configuration, so that two enantiomeric cyclic alcohol molecules are formed. Their wedge representation can be shown like this, in which both H and OH are shown above the plane, with methyl down the plane, or vice versa. Since two chirality centers are generated, Therefore the product will have another pair of enantiomers, in which H and OH are trans to each other. These enantiomers are not formed, because these are products of anti-addition, which cannot happen in case of hydroboration oxidation. Consider this reaction. The reagents indicate hydroboration oxidation. 
The net result of this two-step process is the anti-Markovnikov's addition of H and OH across the pi bond. That is, OH is to be placed at less substituted carbon and H on more substituted carbon. In doing so, no chirality centers are generated, so the requirement for syn addition is irrelevant and only one product is formed. Consider this second example. Again, the reagents indicate hydroboration oxidation. The net result of this two-step process, as said earlier, is the anti-Markovnikov's addition of H and OH across the pi bond. That is, OH is to be placed at less substituted carbon and H on more substituted carbon. In this case, two chirality centers are generated, so four stereoisomers, that is, two pairs of enantiomers are possible. The stereochemical requirement for syn addition demands that H and OH be placed on the same face of pi bond, giving only two enantiomers. The syn addition of BH3 on alkene must occur on the face opposite to methyl group, therefore, when H and OH is on bottom face, methyl is on top face. The opposite will be the case in other enantiomer. H and OH on top face whereas methyl on bottom face. In both cases, H and OH are on same side, either on bottom or on top. The other two possible enantiomers in which H and OH are trans to each other are not formed in this reaction due to syn addition requirement thus making this reaction stereospecific. Now consider the hydroboration oxidation of cis and trans 2-butene. Here the regioselectivity is irrelevant because both carbons are equally substituted. Therefore it doesn't matter whether BH2, which is then replaced by OH in second step, adds on right or left carbon. Say, for example, we place it on right carbon. One chiral center is generated in product, therefore, it will be formed in the form of two enantiomers. In one, OH will be above the plane, formed when BH3 approaches alkene from top face, whereas in other, OH will be below the plane, formed when BH3 approaches from bottom face of alkene. In the same way, the enantiomeric pair will be formed by hydroboration oxidation of cis-2-butene, with OH down the plane in one and above the plane in another. Now, if C2C3 bond of this product, obtained from cis-2-butene, is rotated by 180 degrees, it will convert into this product, which is obtained from trans-2-butene. Same can be done in case of these two products. Rotating C2C3 bond by 180 degrees will convert this product into this. Thus, the products obtained from hydroboration oxidation of cis-2-butene are identical to the products obtained from hydroboration oxidation of trans-2-butene. Therefore, the configuration of the starting alkene is not relevant in this case.